really not worth your time. Or you're really, really hungry. But one potato and two ears of corn isn't going to feed me anyway, so might as well plant them. Okay. Already been there. Already been there. Okay, guys, come on out. Come on out. Zombies in one stupid torn up house. Try to line their heads up, like all their heads up. It's a little bit easier. So by the time I get back in the house, too, that's they're all going to be dead. Or they're going to be respawning in there. Oh, that was horrible. One wood. So not worth it. Playing the old style, you'd block the door off when you go in, but the Ford's there. Is it working for you? Yeah, it is. That's awesome. Hmm. Same guy spawning again. Okay. It's 1900. I got to get in there and clear it out if I'm going to clear it out. Oh lord, three of them. Same three too. I get. Oh, and there's her again. And that one spawned again. B.S. No fair. I want to burn the house down is all I want. Jeez. Look at the every single one spawned again. How are you supposed to clear them out until you get 
Yay! Yay! Ay! Go, 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 go. Ah. Seriously not worth it. Okay, we're just gonna head on out of here. Okay guys, don't really know what to do with that. There are way too many zombies respawning. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to go ahead and head on in, head on, head on into the base and uh, heal up a little bit. Probably just go ahead and start my night, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a break now and I will be back in a second. Okay gamers, looks like what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start the night early. It's a little bit, it's 1942, 43. I'm going to go gather some wood before it gets dark and uh, then probably just do some mining and come back up fresh in the morning and uh, we will do a little more looting, a little more hopefully productive looting. I think we wasted most of the day at this point going to the traders. So I'm going to drop my stuff off in here and then go chop some trees down and I will see you in the morning. Hey there gamers, so this is ScooterCon uh, starting a new episode. Uh, at the end of the last episode I hit the trader up and basically could afford nothing, could do nothing and uh, pretty much just fulfilled the, the, uh, the mission to get to him. I'm going to go ahead and head back to base. This this biome, snow biome, is and this early in the game is just brutal, so I really don't want to have anything to do with it. I'll pick up whatever I can on the way back. Uh, it is close to airdrop time, so maybe I will find an airdrop. Don't know. But for the most part, I really just, just want to get, get where maybe I can do a little bit of looting, drop all the stuff I got off in the box. <clears throat> Pretty low level looting stuff that I got right now. None of it's all that important. Uh, an airdrop would be nice. Maybe some medical or some uh, worthwhile schematics. And there's our buzzard friend. Go from uh, ice to hot. Oh, great. Oh, look at there. There's a big old city over there. I know that was there. I'm going to have to find a way to mark that one down. Cannot run. And I'm infected. Look at all these zombies. What the heck? Give me a break. And get the snake. There is just a crazy amount of zombies. I mean, this is day two, and these are just straggler zombies. And I turn around, there's like three or four of them there. Wonder if maybe it's because I'm at the edge of the edge of the city. Am I bleeding out? Good question. gonna use that I really don't want to and I will eat that and I want to mark that city
see if we can't make it back. I'm gonna go ahead and, being I just used that medical, I'm gonna go ahead and go for that. Looks like it's gonna be a good bit away, but we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Zombie. There's a zombie. At least I'm getting to hit up a bunch of birds now. distracted. They need to get back and pick up some yucca. Could start clubbing some yucca out here, but that's probably more trouble than it's worth. It's a burnt biome. What is that? Oh, great. God, stupid. Stupid, stupid cactus. Another good buy him for feathers, though. Honey gets rid of this tear, I can't remember, but uh, the old, the old, the old uh, sham sandwich comes through again. Uh, different color tree. And did I get turned around? Yes, I hear the guy behind me.
be far. These are good, good little places to find uh, cooking pots. I definitely will have a bunch of feathers and eggs once I'm once I'm done with this. These little burnt out houses I actually have no problem starting the game near one of these uh, burnt out uh, biomes because it, there are a lot of little basic things that you need that you can just about always find a cooking pot in there in one of the little houses so very very useful go back home you're gonna catch the forest on fire okay I want to head over here pick up some yucca eat fill up get some uh, get some lumber, make some arrows, and make some spikes. I think that's going to be my next my next uh, mission is to, to loot the little areas around me to get get some stuff. And you can go in the buildings and whatnot in the, the big city, but when when it really you add it all up, it's no different than hitting these piles and and uh, that type deal to get your stuff. What is this? This is one of these little mine biomes. Usually nothing in there. Just kind of note it and move on. Not very far from my house. Trying not to break my leg. I don't know what it is about this map, but it seems like there's just more random zombies around in the, the little POIs and everything. It's my sleeping bag. Okay, we really wish I'd have got more corn. Wilds out. Wood. I want to eat eat everything I can eat. I want to try to upgrade. So much a little useless stuff. keep the bottles on me in case I find a water source. I seriously doubt I will because I'm not going very far. Get you there. You there. You there. Don't need you. We'll need the ladder or the axe more than I will the shovel in that spot. Probably be using you. Using you. Clay over here. Alrighty then. 
Could could put up my land plane block, but I don't really see much of a reason to, to be honest. It's, there's nothing I need to pick up right now. The land claim block, the, uh, the thing with it is you can pick up all your stuff. It may help keep things from spawning in your area too. I haven't really figured that one out yet, but... Moving and shaking. Yeah, it lost his leg on a lost her leg on a cactus. I gotta finish her off. Water. Take the olive here too. I almost never do anything with it, but in case you do need to make the the bandages. It's kind of the way this game goes. It's you you don't have what you need until you have what you need then you have excess of what you need so I will go from needing medical kits to having many many medical kits yeah let's see if this guy's got a mining helmet See it on his head. There's a mining. Oh, it's just a helmet. God, look at all these. Is there a city near? Look at all these guys. I don't know if they upped it because I know they did an update. If they upped the the random zombies, this is there's a lot of guys walking around. be a problem later once you start running into feral ones and your level goes up. reason I'm heading this way, I just want to see if I can't find maybe a water source somewhere down here. Looks like it gets a little bit lower. I don't know if this game is all that sophisticated, if that means you find a water source. Nope. Miles and miles of desert though. why I have stuff if there's nothing in it. Oh, 
Also be nice if you could just do like eat all kind of deal. Right. So you fill full up. So I'll do one at a time. This yucca will help you get by through for quite a while. Um, it'd be nice if I just replanted some of it, but I don't plan on depending on yucca that long now. kind of cool. This is basically a different forest area over here. Kind of ironic that the uh, the best place as far as getting food and water is the desert because of the yucca. It can serve as both. Chop down a little bit of a tree here. Just so I can start making some arrows while I'm doing other stuff. probably look at my skill points and put something in the construction or uh, mining before doing this but I usually like to do that kind of stuff when it's at night and got kind of time to kill <laughs> find me a rock Later in the game, I never worry about smashing these big rocks. They don't give you anything but rock, which I get plenty of when I'm mining. But for this instance, just needing some stuff for arrows and uh, stone axes, it works just as good as the other one. Bikes. I want to make 
sheep. Then I want to make another sh or stone axe. to make arrows. That's all I got. Great. Okay, I need to cut down some more trees. Uh, kind of figured that. I rely pretty heavily on the spikes at the start of the game for a lot of things. I rely on the, the spikes pretty heavily, and if we run into a wolf up here or something like that, I'll show you a pig. I'll show you what I do for, for hunting them. Makes it safe, makes it quicker, I think, instead of running backwards, especially running backwards where you got cactus. Need to drink something. Get the juice. Okay, 41. 41 water. That'll last us a while. 17, 17. I've probably got enough to go ahead and uh, arrows to take at least that little camp, maybe the house. I want to hit up one, one or two POIs before it gets dark to see if I can't find a cooking pot. So let's head back over that direction. <laughs> <laughs> 